actually believe that AI is, can truly benefit us uh, even today. And um, you know, we will build better chips uh, with the use of AI. I tell my team we must be the first users of AI. Our philosophy is to have a very open ecosystem. Actually, uh, this is uh, something I'm very passionate about. Here. Hello， 家人们，我来见苏妈了。MD 在北京召开了 AIPC 创新峰会，我也得到了全国唯二的和苏妈一对一专访的机会。大家快把牌面打在公屏上。兄弟们，这个就是李丽萨的采访间，我们一会儿就从这里面进去。好了，在后场了。别看我现在云淡风轻啊，其实心里慌的一批。大家来看啊，我现在心率飙升。来了来了，接下来换我们上场了。Hi Lisa, uh, it's a great pleasure to talk to you and chat with you, because uh, I'm a big fan. Uh, some of my my uh, teammates are big fan of you, very inspirational. Um, and a uh, bit of introduction for myself. Um, I'm Ken Shi. Um, and I'm I've been working on my social media channel Shi Can Talk for the past three or four years. As you can see, my channel is all about semiconductor chip、um, technology as well as AI. So today I got a couple of questions、uh, about the future of AI and your perspective of the future development of AI, particularly. So、uh, let's jump into it. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for having me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And、uh, my first question is: You have stated a couple of times, and in this summit as well, AI is the most transformative technology. Uh, for the past fifty years, right? Well, AI is definitely helpful and it does make many changes. But a lot of people are thinking like,、um, so many of our daily works can still be properly managed by conventional PC,、mm. if you like. So, in your opinion, how long do you think AI will be truly or genuinely practical、uh, in our daily lives? Well.、Um... I actually believe that AI is can truly benefit us、uh, even today.、Mm-hmm. Your comment that、uh, we can, of course, we can live with the traditional PC. Course, that's definitely true,、uh, but I think the power of、uh, bringing AI into our lives, whether you're using cloud,、um, you're using AI in the cloud, or you're using AI、uh, with these new AI PCs. Is、uh, is really to make all of us、uh, more productive and more capable. So、um, I do think it's just the beginning for AI PCs, but it will go very fast. And you know, I'm very excited about some of the the products that are in the market today,、um, and in uh, uh, later in 2024. And I expect over the next few years,、uh, AI PCs will become、uh, more and more popular, and everybody will want to have an AI PC. Okay, thank you. And a follow up question on that. So in terms of the practical. Utility of AI.、Um, what types of technologies do you think will you know、uh, enable or support this、uh, this transformation? And what a, what a role will AMD play in this、uh, transformation? Well, the way I like to describe、uh, the role that AI can、uh, bring for a、uh, personal productivity is, you know, we're all so busy every day.、Um, if you have a、um, a personal assistant, which is your AI PC, and it can save you. Um, a few hours a week, or five hours a week, or even more than that,、uh, because it helps you、um, uh, accomplish、uh, many of your daily tasks. Then that's a very positive thing. And you know, the, from an AMD standpoint, our goal is to develop AI technologies for、um, across all of the application space. So、uh, we develop、uh, you know the largest、uh, foundational infrastructure for、uh, the cloud and enterprise. Uh, but we also are very, very excited about、uh, edge applications and、uh, client applications. So you know, today here in Beijing, we were really focusing on AI PCs. And what is so important about this new area is that you need to bring all of the partners together, and that's really what we have、um, uh, been trying to do: is to create a very, very strong ecosystem. Uh, to enable the new technology to go as fast as possible. I see. So,、um, in terms of AI PC,、um, I see like、um, there's a way to integrate AI engines into the CPUs. 
But in addition to that, um, is there any other ways or technologies can help to improve the computer as a whole system, like in terms of their AI capabilities or the computing power or efficiency of AI computation? Yeah, you see um, today, uh, you know, AI PCs may have uh, CPU, GPU, and then uh, what we call NPU or yeah. specific uh, AI processor. I think all of these technologies are important. And depending on what your uh, use case is, uh, whether you're uh, you know, very focused on uh, personal productivity or notebook form factor, uh, you will use one set of technologies. Or if you're very focused in the desktop area or in the workstation area, uh, you'll have um, a different combination of uh, these technologies. But in the end, um, the key is to make the technology very, very easy to use. And that's why the ecosystem is so important and having uh, you know, the software development ecosystem, our goal is to make the uh, hardware as easy to use as possible so the software developers can come up with their applications as fast as possible. Uh, so I was very excited today to see uh, so many of the AI startups and um, uh, local ISVs uh, uh, really making uh, so much progress with Ryzen AI. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So um, as of myself, I'm currently working on scientific research of uh, chip design verification. And recently, I see many of the researchers and the research works being focused on AI-aided chip development. Um, so in your perspective, what's your take on uh, AI's role or if AI can help with chip development? And also, I'm very curious about if AMD has uh, used AI to help with the chip development at all? Oh, definitely. Actually, uh, this is uh, something I'm very passionate about. Um, I think the, uh, so, you know, as a technology company, and since we're building so much AI, I tell my team, we must be the first users of AI in, um, um, in, our, uh, in our world. So uh, definitely, as you said, um, AI can help chip design. Uh, our goal is to design chips, you know, uh, faster, more powerful, and um, with a higher quality. And AI can help us do that in many ways on both the hardware standpoint, um, as well as um, you know, from the software development. So uh, I think you're absolutely right. It's a, very, uh, it's a great area for uh, you know, research and uh, development. And um, you know, we will build better chips uh, with the use of AI. Okay, thank you so much. Um, and my last question is about software. And I think as you talk about software, uh, already. Um, AMD is a uh, price very high performance and efficient hardware for AI computing. Um, but we both know that software cannot be neglected. So in your perspective, uh, what's the importance of software, especially in the AI, AI era? Yeah, it's uh, extremely important. Um, you're right. You know, it's not easy to program uh, these, um, you know, AI devices. And so, you know, our job as a um, AI company is to make sure that our software is very easy to use. And from that standpoint, um, our philosophy is to have a very open ecosystem. So um, our software uh, 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 capabilities are, are called uh, Rockham. Right. And um, our, our Rockham um, you know, software capabilities have uh, really um, uh, improved a lot over the last uh, you know, 12 to 18 months. Uh, we have thousands of engineers working on making Rockham as easy to use as possible. And we're also extending um, across um, our you know, entire uh, portfolio. So uh, it's a, a very important part. Um, I think the open ecosystem is also very important. And so uh, that's why we uh, really want all of the software developers to work together with us. And um, you know, together, we will build a, a very uh, strong ecosystem and get applications out there as fast as possible. OK, thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, it's, a, it's a great um, answer. I, I learned a lot. And thanks for your time for today. That's all for me. Excellent. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. So shall we take um take pictures and, and stuff? Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much. Yeah, great. Yeah. Baby, who is she? This is Su Ma. She changed the world.